What's up, YouTube? ODST General back again. And uh, today we're going to be doing an install tutorial for X3 Albion Prelude for the uh, Cheat Collector or Cheat Collection. Um, this is kind of in the tale of the uh, Star Wars mod coming out. A few different uh, YouTube creators like Devil Dog Gamer and uh, XP Gamers have been doing videos on this. So the first thing you guys are going to do is go into Google here. Go and uh, search for the plugin installer uh, and go through the process here that it shows on the page. And I'm scrolling through pretty quick, so if you guys need to, pause the video and uh, just read the instructions or just when you go to the page yourself, uh, go ahead and read through the instructions on setting up the installer. It's pretty straightforward. Just make sure that, like I've highlighted here, you close the installer before you go to launch the game. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is go, I put Cheat uh, Collector, I think it's actually Cheat's Collection. Um, but you're going to want to go through and search that on Google and you're going to want to go to the second download when you get this page. It's going to be the first page. Uh, make sure to download the one that says AP. If you download the Terran Conflict or just the standard X3, this will not work for you properly. Um, you'll get a page, uh, you'll get your download something like this. Um, just when you get the uh, plugin done first, you should be able to just automatically open the Cheats Collection. It should install on its own. Uh, alternatively, if you somehow found a zip file, which I couldn't find, you can just drag that into your X3 Terran Conflict folder uh, through Steam, uh, presuming that's where you got it, and just drop the files in there for that. So, uh, it's going to look something like this. Now, what I've selected there is actually from a incorrect version of the game, so it didn't work, but it should look something like that. So, just, you'll... Hopefully have it prepackaged as scripts in the uh, T, but yeah, you know, that's just gonna, de gonna depend on like how Flight lucky school. or unlucky you are as far as that goes. Um, moving on here, we're now in game, so there's a few things you're gonna have to do once you get in game to actually get this to work properly. So you're gonna want to go to your uh, personal information. You're gonna want to go down to uh, advanced and change name. You're gonna want to put there shall be wings. Uh, the T has to be capitalized, so make sure you put it in exactly like I put it in here. Your game's going to freeze for just a moment. That's normal. Um, it will probably also depend on how powerful your computer is, but it should go back in just a moment. So going back in there and going back to change name, you can see my name is still the same. So that's normal too. If this worked properly, you had that pause, your name should return to the same. Um, from there, you're going to want to go back down to the uh, advanced options and go to global network right here at the top, or global commands, and select uh, the scripts. Now you'll get a page like this. All you got to do is hit the escape and you're going to get some text that comes up like this. So just wait for that to go through. Um, you'll only have to do this the first time for setup here, so just kind of bear with it. And uh, just wait for this to get through. It does take a second, so go to the bottom of the page and uh, select reinitialize here. That's what you're going to want to do. And once you've done that, you should get a little beep just acknowledging that you clicked the button. Uh, you should be able to clear out and you should be able to go down to your options and go to interface. And if you scroll to the bottom of the page, you should see two new options there for cheat and for uh, destroy target and open menu. Uh, if you want, you can set up the destroy target. What I've done is I've just on the open menu I set that to the left bracket like you'll see here and go to exit and I kind of wasn't paying attention so I went and closed it a couple times but you save that profile um, you know you'll be back in the menu if you press the button though you can see all the options have come up you can see how to select ships and all this different stuff in here and now I've kind of previewed some of the stuff you can do with the uh, cheats collection here just some of the stuff like creating ships Advanced destroying targets available. Um, the community uh, suggests you don't use this. I mean, obviously it does take away a little bit from the experience, but the game is not very helpful when it comes to learning stuff. It's a very, very big game. Uh, there is a lot to it. And so, you know, if you're just having a hard time starting off or you just kind of have no direction, or you want to just check out the other, you know, Star Wars ships or whatever ships, you know, this is a good way of doing it. So... Uh, you know, I, you can see I spawned the Millennium Falcon as a uh, test here. This is the uh, Episode 7 version. And, you know, we're going to just show off a little bit of other testing with Argon it. But that's pretty much all you should have to do. 
If you guys are having any other issues uh, where this isn't working properly or something like that, check, like I said, to make sure that you've installed the correct version of the mod, the correct scripts. If it's for a different version of the game, it will not work. Um, make sure you have the plugin installer correctly, make sure that's closed, and make sure uh, also that if you're having an issue with the plugin installer and it's not uh, installing the plugin when you try to do it, make sure it's in the correct mode. By default, it's for vanilla game. You have to change it to modded before this will work. Uh, like I said, if you have the scripted version, it's really easy. All you should have to do is drop the files in. And then just follow the instructions from the Argon. end game point here. Rapid I hope this was helpful to you guys. If you guys have any further questions, anything like that, feel free to ask. I will do my best to answer. And I will see you guys around for the next video. Ship computer control transferred. You are talking to the automated... It's too late for you. We have nothing to talk about.